Welcome to North Devon. And welcome to Heartland on the North Devon coast. Tonight, for a change, I'm going to try some seascapes. Wish me luck. Well, a couple of couple of there. <laughs> Start again. A couple of apologies to make to begin with. First of all, sorry for the legs. It's absolutely sweltering. We're on holiday here in Devon for a week, and for once we've picked the right week weather-wise. Well, it is the right week, and we always moan, don't we? But it's been so hot this week. God, it's been sweltering hot. Lovely to you know, really appreciate this North Devon countryside because in the sunshine it looks fantastic, but not great for hiking. And it's been very sweltering. So yeah, that's the first apology. And the second apology is of course that I've not uploaded for, probably getting on for a month by the time this goes out. So yeah, apologies for that. <sighs> Several reasons, summer, summer greens. I did go to Home Fen, wasn't really doing it for me, all the greens. <laughs> Sorry, can you see this? Where is he? Look. Little sheep. Ah, oh, several of them here. Yeah, um, yeah, so I didn't really do anything there. And then as I say, I'm on holiday, so it's one of those things, taking a bit of a summer break. But yeah, I thought I'd try and get a vlog in here on the North Devon coast while I'm on holiday. I've come out for a sunset. And um, yeah, I'm at Heartland Quay, walking south. Um, you've got St. Catherine's Tor Probably can't see it, no, because this video camera won't pick it up, but it's behind me. So I'm going south of St. Catherine's Tor, and we're going to try and get a sunset with some lovely light, hopefully, on the Tor. And I think the, it, we're at low tide, so the tide will be out. Try and get some nice shapes in the, in the rocks and the water. Uh, might do long exposure, who knows. This, this coastline is just fantastic, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So. Right, going through this gate, and I'll see, oh, oh my God, look, can you see? This camera's rubbish, it's showing you where I want it to see. Go up, oh, you can't see rear, yeah. I've got to go up that hill. Oh my God. Right, let's get to it. Made it. It was a bit of a slog, but if I'm honest, compared to the ones I've had this week, in the middle of the day, it wasn't that bad. Just up, up and down this hill here was the worst. But I've made it to my destination. Um, this is where I'm gonna be for tonight. It's probably a good hour or so before sunset. As you can see, I've got St. Catherine's Tour in the background. And then um, there's a path that leads down to the sea or down to the, the beach down there and I shall go down there and try and see what I can get on the seashore. There's some <clears throat> fascinating geology here, which you know I don't profess to know enough about. Um, I was talking to my kids about it this week, actually. Some of the, I called them styrations, but that's probably wrong, completely wrong. Um, but the, the layers in the rocks here are just amazing and where they fell into the uh, into the sea they're just like slices of a cake just laying there it's absolutely fascinating to to look at so they make 
clearly great subjects to shoot. Um, so I'm just hoping for some warm light. It's been blue skies all week long. Um, the sunsets have obviously just been, you know, the golden sun. There's no clouds. There's a bit of wispy cloud tonight, so that might give me something to look at in the sky. But yeah, I'm just hoping for a little, nice bit of warm light. Um, the sea is flat, calm. I may still put my um, filters on to give it a long exposure, but we'll see. I'm gonna just sit here now, grab some water, and yeah, then head down to the beach. Well, while I wait for the sun to set, and I'm still at the top of the cliffs here, I just thought I'd grab a shot of this scene behind me. You've got St. Catherine's Tor there getting lit by the setting sun. And in the background, you've got Lundy Island, which is sort of enveloped in sea haze and sea mist, and it looks really eerie. So I've just taken one shot here, bracketed three ways, focused on Lundy Island, which is infinity. Um, F11, it will definitely need blending together. So you've effectively got one shot for the highlights, one for the mid-tones, one for the shadows. Blend them easy enough in Lightroom. And it might be black and white, it might be colour. There is some nice soft light on the side of Catherine's tour, so you never know. But yeah, a nice little start. made it down and I keep an eye on the tide I'm fairly certain I've still got another half an hour to go till low tide so I think I'm okay <laughs> but I'm here on my own on the beach and you need to still keep your wits wits about you I think when you're on the beach but anyway um before I found my sort of sunset uh, composition I, you know you, you've got this tour uh, where you can see behind me uh, St Catherine's tour as, as I shot earlier on um, and there's a dip in the rocks here and there's loads of layers as I was talking about earlier on these these layered rocks that you get here on the beach on North Devon um, and I just think they look quite nice as a progressive foreground out towards the tour in the background let me just spin you around and I'll show you a bit closer so I obviously have to take three different exposures for this one focused on the tour in the background and exposing for the sky so it's not blown out and then one focused on those rocks in the foreground, these ones here, and exposing for those. And then one focused right down here, where are we? On these rocks here and exposing for these as well. So I shall blend all of those together in Lightroom or Photoshop. So I've got a fair bit of work to do back in the office, but hopefully it will be worth it. Right now to find my final sunset composition. Well, you can tell I'm not used to seascapes and sunrise seascapes as well. 
I've really struggled to find a composition there. I was up and down this beach watching the sun gradually set and you know there's some as I said there's some lovely shapes on this beach but damn if I could find a decent composition. So I've settled on one anyway and it's this here. It's not the best I'm sure but it works. Um, there's elements that, that work. So what do I like about this? So I liked the way that the light was catching on these, the side of these rocks here. They've got a little bit of, um, of seawater on them. And I like the, the shapes and the, the lines in these rocks here. And they will, as I say, catch in the set and sun, warm light. And then obviously you've got the sea going out to the sun with rocks on the right hand side of the composition as well. I think the rocks are quite strong on the right hand side. Um, but there are compositional elements here. There's leading lines. There are, there's some nice light, um, you know, and it goes out to a sunset. So, you know, I guess it works. So what I did was I've shot this at uh, F11. I focused um, just about three feet from the camera, at, which should give me sharpness uh, front to back. Um, and I've shot it with a, um, six stop and a ten stop i wanted to try and smooth the water out if i could so the six stop just wasn't quite long enough for the exposure i wanted so i had to put the ten stop on uh, and i've shot various exposures obviously so this will be a super exposure blend job in photoshop this one without a doubt to try and get all these exposures together exposed for the sun and around the sun for the sky for the mid mid ground and then obviously for these rocks in the foreground here yeah Hopefully it will come out as I say, I really don't think I've done this place justice. There is a, while I'm thinking of it, and I'll give, a, give him a shout out. Um, I, I've never met this guy, I don't know him, but I do follow him on Instagram. I think his name's Adam. His Instagram handle is LZZZ, I think. I'll put a, a link below to his Instagram. I think he lives around here. He does some fantastic work on this North Devon, Devon coast. Quite a, a lot of his work is here from Heartland Quay just up near the actual hotel, I believe. But yeah, he's, he's really, you know, he, he can obviously come out at the right times of the, uh, the year, right conditions, right tides. But yeah, some stunning work that he does. So I've not done anything near as good as you, Adam. But anyway, it's been fun and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, and it's been a great week. You know, I've had some, some we've had some really lovely walks and really look, found some really lovely places. North Devon coast is just awesome. Um, it would have been nice if it was just a few degrees cooler. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it here. The um, sun is just about to set behind a blanket of cloud. I've got a reasonable walk back, um, so I don't want to leave it too late. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll leave the uh, final shot at the end for you to see. And any more that I've taken while I've been here, I'll leave at the end as well. So stay tuned for those. So yeah, until the next one. I will see you then. You take good care. See you soon.